Tucked away in southern Illinois, you'll find a gem of a town called Fairfield. And the town's most notable landmark is a Grand Victorian. And uh, this place was the first uh, house in the county to have that newfangled indoor plumbing thing. Actually, the, the, and uh, so what's neat is the, the Wayne County Press, our local paper, has been around since that time. And we have snippets. It's, it's been reporting on this house since the house was built. It was built in 1895 by Judge Jacob R. Creighton and his wife, Lucretia. But it was the first large house in this side of town because everything else was up around the square. And they found out the railroad was coming in, so they built, came out here. And uh, it's been um, basically a fixture in this, in this community ever since. It's really nice that people uh, come in and say, you know, I've been driving by that house for 30 years. I've lived in Fairfield and I've never, never been in. I said, well, come on in, take a look. Kathy and her husband bought it in 2005 and turned it into an antique store. It was more like two years two. but uh, that we were open, but we were buying stuff right. before that, which was fun. <laughs> I love buying antiques. And uh, when we finally got it set up, it was just not quite two years. It was a live-work situation where they, they lived upstairs and then the entire uh, first floor was an antique shop. And uh, then the, uh, the stairs. We had concrete stairs out front at that time. They were built in the 30s. And a UPS guy was delivering one day and he stepped on the step and it crumbled with him. And so we had to close it up immediately. They closed the antique store down and used it as their family home after the stairs incident. And then, after a brilliant renovation, they reopened July 2019 into the B&B &B you see today. Since Miss Kathy and her husband had an incredible eye for treasures, you'll find many still in the house. Old dolls and books, everything brimming with stories to tell. So just wander around and experience it for yourself. The Victorian has six beautiful rooms you can stay in, plus Miss Kathy's residence, the Rose Room. It's pretty in pink with a clawfoot tub. The biggest of the six is a two-room suite connected by a Jack and Jill bathroom called the Creighton Felix Suite. Also on the second floor is the Garden Suite. You walk in and immediately you're transported. You're at home, but it's not 2020. The antiques are so perfectly maintained. The bed is as grand as the room itself with the most luxurious resort style sheets. The balcony is ginormous and overlooks the quaint town. And just when you're convinced you've stepped back in time, you see the flat screen TV and the high speed Wi-Fi password. Beautifully restored and maintained, yet somehow still up to modern standards. We'll take a trip up the stairs to the third floor for the last three rooms. The tower room is like Rapunzel's dream bright and beautiful, flowery and homey, the same luxurious sheets, and an adorable bathroom with a sink made from an old sewing machine. Lily's Hideaway, aka the Blue Room, is just as adorable and floral as the Tower Room, but with some exposed brick for added charm. The last room, and my personal favorite, is the Squirrel's Nest. It's massive, with a sitting area perfect for lounging and a desk area perfect for working. The bathroom is a great size, with hot water that flows freely. But the hallmark of the room? The wooden tent designed specifically to fit the curvature of the roof. It covers the bed and makes it the perfect escape. You lie down, cuddle up, and it's off to dreamland. Not a single distraction can keep you from a good night's rest. We had one man that said he never sleeps more than four hours a night. And the first night he slept about four hours, and that's what started the conversation. The next night he came down, he slept nine hours. Our mattresses are wonderful. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, I mean, that's the part of what we do here. We have old world charm. We have all the, uh, the antiques and everything, but everything is also very modern. All of our plumbing, everything is brand new. And so it's uh, not an old, musty, crusty, scary house. It's uh, warm, inviting. There's lots of love in this house. There's lots of uh, just positive, good energy here. We felt so loved and cared for by Scott and Miss Kathy. Between conversations, trips out on the town for dinner, and a hot breakfast every morning, we could hardly tear ourselves away from the beautiful and warm hospitality. Normally, I would say if you're passing through, stop on in for a night. But forget that. Make Fairfield your destination, and stay at the Victorian on Main for a weekend or longer. I promise you won't regret it. We're, we're uh, very much about just, just being hosts. I mean, we, we love 
hosting people, bringing people in. That's that's our favorite thing about this. And you know, it, it's it's truly the the Webster's definition of hospitality in the hospitality industry. It's it's sort of what we uh, what we live by.